Two masked robbers who targeted an internet gaming center in Kaneohe Wednesday night never expected their victims to fight back, but they did, and it was all caught on video. Ron Mizutani has more on our top story. Joe, this is not something police encourage, but the gamers say they were protecting their second home. It is just before midnight on Wednesday. Devin Woolery is sitting at the counter at PC Gamers in Kaneohe, watching over his nine customers, when two masked men walk in. They came in, they started yelling at me like they had a problem with me. Video surveillance shows Woolery reaching to push a panic button to alert police when things escalate. Boom, right there. Jumps and punches me in the face, knocks my glasses off. Customers are unaware what's happening when he struck again, and that gets their attention. They start yelling at the customers, uh, tell them to give them their money. They were also making movements like they had a gun or, a, or, some, or some other kind of weapon. Customers hand over whatever change they have while a suspect punches video monitors at the counter, but the cameras are still rolling. That's when the suspect in black approaches Dylan Hayes. They tried to take his DS, his Nintendo DS, and he wasn't having that, so he came back swinging. Then he hit me, and then I kind of just got angry and bull rushed him out the door. I pulled him down to the ground over here. Um, the table got moved, and I had him down on the ground. He was still hitting me. Dylan pulls off the guy's mask. He runs out the door. His friends are outside waiting. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And uh, we were holding one guy in and still fighting him. And the other guys come into the store, pull him out, and take off. Police are on the scene in minutes. Three teenagers are caught a block away and arrested. Two 17-year-old boys and 18-year-old Bryson Iona. All three are familiar to the gamers. They were customers of us. They gave us their information, their personal information. I wish I was there. <laughs> Jim Woolery is grateful his son's customers were there for him. I mean, we're gamers, you know? We're, we're, we've been immersed in that culture where, like, we all want to be Superman, you know? We're missing something partial in our brain that says, yeah, this might be dangerous. We want to have people think of this as their home, that they can come, play games, find new friends, talk to people. I mean, it's Evan's place, but it's also ours, you know? Like, this is where we come to hang out. And all three suspects were released pending further investigation. Ron Mizutani, KHON2 News.